neighbors. Welcome to the Shed Shop in this edition of How To. Today is Monday, February 26th, and the IRS sucks. <clears throat> I was supposed to get my uncle's tax refund today, but unfortunately, uh, I thought he was added to my bank account, and Chime told me they don't do joint bank accounts, that he was only on there to be able to call in and ask very basic information like what's my balance that's about it nothing else nothing about transactions nothing they told me he was added to the bank account so given that the check is in his name and it's my bank account we now have to wait five days and then call the IRS back and then they'll contact my bank to get their payment back and then they'll send out a paper check which could take anywhere from 21 days all the way up to six months. So, so much for ordering inventory. <laughs> I need to order Meteor. And that's what I really should be doing right now is putting together my Meteor order, balancing out my credit cards, and figuring out which ones I want to pay more than the minimum on this month. <laughs> if I can do more than the minimums. Given that I'm only selling about one saw every three months, I have been washing lots and lots and lots of 028 parts last night so that I could sell them on eBay. Because even though I'm barely making any money on eBay as well, that's most of my income right now. We're up to $56 in February for YouTube. That's fantastic, right? However, you have to make $100 before you get a payout. So I usually get a payout every three months from YouTube. Unfortunately, even though I've got 1,300 subscribers, my videos don't get enough views for me to actually make money. I barely make any money. That's okay. I'm going to keep doing it for you, neighbors. Okay? No fret. We're going to keep persevering. I have on my bench a steel MS400C. I've already told you the story, and I'm tired, and I just want to get to work. So... I'm basically going to tell you, I did a trade for this saw for a Husqvarna 142. The piston was all chunked up. Fortunately, our cylinder's good. We had to replace some other expensive parts. I have a broken chain brake handle on there right now that I'm going to plastic weld and see if it holds or not. Okay? It's, it's just cracked. But uh, I want to see if it holds or not, at least for the testing phase of the saw. And then I'll dig out another one because I think... The 311 chain brake handle should fit that as well. I do not know. We're going to find out. Just don't want to find out yet. So that being said, I started working on this saw up in town when I was sitting there trying to sell saws. I've spent about 10 hours in town last week sitting there with my saws, watching the panhandlers make hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars when they have NOS vehicles and clearly choose not to work because there's plenty of jobs even in this small little town of Lewisburg, Tennessee. We only have 10,000 people in our city. However, there's jobs everywhere and these guys get handed money claiming that they're homeless, living in their car, holding a sign that says, we'll work for food, but when I offer them work, they make up all kinds of excuses. So when I say, well, I'll take you over to McDonald's to get you something to eat. They tell all kinds of bullshit stories as to why they need cash. So these guys are lazy pricks <laughs> driving vehicles that cost 20 times as much as my piece of chip. And five times as much as my uncle's half piece of chip truck. I'm trying to make an honest living, working my ass off, disabled, unable to make ends meet, and I make no money. Yet these assholes sit up there for an hour or two, and then they disappear, both of them. It's two men, one's middle-aged, one's older. They disappear in their two vehicles that you can tell they're not living in because they're not cram-packed full of chit. And anybody that's living in their car, their car is cram-packed full of chit. 
okay? And then they'll be gone for half an hour or an hour, and then they come back. Would you like to take a guess at what the hell they're doing for that half an hour or an hour? Well, neighbors, as soon as they make up enough money to go get their fix, I'm fairly certain with 95% certainty. Well, Chet, I have to answer this phone call. Damn it. Now, once again, more editing time. All for the doctors to give me the 15th reminder that I have an appointment Wednesday. Great, I know. You send me text every day for the past week, and you called me every day uh, last week, just about. So now i got to merge two videos. Just my life, neighbors. Anyways, 95% certainty. These guys are going to get high. And then when they're out of money and want to get high some more, they come back and panhandle. My guess is meth or crack. Because typically, if it's heroin, they would be going a lot longer. Okay? Meth or crack, you have, you have to get more money. Because that shit, five minutes after you take a hit, you've already taken four more hits in between. And then as soon as you run out, you're desperate for your next hit. How do I know this? Because I used to do crack and heroin. I'm going to turn you down to the bench and we're going to get to work. Damn it, neighbors. Here's my beautiful 400C neighbors. The other thing is, even though I feel I can go right here and you guys can see me, if I pause, this zooms back in and I forget that you guys can't see the full picture. So I have me doing a dual port on a muffler for our 271 and you guys can't see the damn work I'm doing on the muffler. Uh, I'm trying so hard, you guys, to bring you good videos. No wonder why I can't make money on YouTube. Because I suck at it. Kind of like almost everything else in life. I suck at everything. It is what it is, neighbors. Do you guys want to see our piston? Uh, thank you, damn it, Bobby, for getting me a good price on this. Really appreciate it, neighbor. He got me a good price. Otherwise, I would have paid over $80. This is a magnesium piston. It's got paint from our bag here. And it also come with a brand new uh, um, needle cage bearing, uh, our wrist pin, and our clips. So, that's all OEM. Nice magnesium piston. Okay. We're going to grab our cylinder out. And what we're going to do is we are going to check squish on this saw and see if we're able to do our base gasket delete or not. Which means I need to find our cylinder bolts. Here's our broken chain brake handle, neighbors. Here's our broken wrap handle, neighbors. I did plastic weld on that. It wasn't that bad, but that plastic weld, it was just cracked right here, and it, you could kind of, if you tried real hard, to spread it open. So I plastic welded it. We'll sand that down and paint it, and then we'll notify our neighbors when we list it for sale that that's been fixed, and we'll have pictures of it, okay? Here's our cylinder bolts, neighbors, okay? I'm not saying neighbors too much, neighbors. Most of you probably think I am neighbors, especially you new neighbors to the channel. Neighbors, I know I say neighbors a lot, neighbors, but it's like saying bro or dude or, or, or guy or pal or buddy or friend or folks. Okay, it's my term of endearment. Neighbors, here's my Rob Weaver knife. Thank you, Rob Weaver, once more for trading me three badass knives uh, for a chainsaw. I'm sorry, two badass knives for a chainsaw and then giving me the bone knife for my birthday. And this comes with one pin already in the cylinder, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay. So, we will go ahead, put our needle cage bearing in here. Okay. Nice, snug fit. I like it. Put a little bit of oil in that biatch. Okay. Give it a good start to life. Spin it around a little bit to get that oil moving around. Let's see. I'm guessing it's going to be in the uh, clutch side. It is. Correcto mundo. Okay. So... Put our wrist pin in there. Go ahead and line this biatch up. I'm going to leave the piston rings on. It is easier to check squish with them off, but since they're already on, I don't think it will be too much easier. I don't want to take them off. Try and get this lined up here, neighbors. She doesn't want to go. There we are. Okay, got that in. Is this a 12 mil? It looks like it. Okay, 12 mil drift here. 
And then we got our steel tool to put our steel clip in to our steel piston. That would have cost me, what did I say, like 85 or $90 before tax. And damn it, Bobby got it for a better price for me. Because he's awesome like that sometimes. If he's able to offer me a lower price, he does. And if he's not, he tells me, sorry, neighbor, can't do it. Not this time. Okay, my clip went sideways. Well, that's my life, though. Story of my life. Everything goes sideways. And the problem is, it's probably not going to go in the piston right. Um, if it's sideways in my tool. But we'll try it. We'll try it. Fudge it, right? And I like the OEM pistons with this tool because sometimes the aftermarkets... Did we get it? We did. Sometimes the aftermarkets... The, uh, this, this doesn't sit, there's a little, this is kind of grooved out here so that this sits right in, into the groove. It's a lot easier on the OEM pistons to use this tool than it is the aftermarkets. Okay, so now that we got that on, let's go ahead and turn our rings to where they need to be so that our openings are on our pins, okay? We got one toward our exhaust side and one toward our intake, okay? I uh, just, I really cannot believe, where's our old piston? Uh, I think it's in the truck. I really should show you guys again. Let me go get it. Okay, never mind, neighbors. I don't know what the hell I've done with it. I really should be editing footage right now, but I wanted to edit the one video I took. I did a review video for the ultrasonic parts washer. It was supposed to be a simple video to edit. Just add an intro, add a little bit of text. <laughs> Uh, upload it on power director and upload it to YouTube and release it in a few days. However My camera was on pause when it wasn't supposed to be and uh, It was turned on when it was supposed to be on pause so also the first thing I realized is that I started in telling a story about the building we're in and Never finished it. So I took a little short video to add in and that requires splitting my full video and adding that in and then finding the right place to put it in and everything else. Uh, just time consuming stuff. And then I got to the end of the video and I realized, or toward the end and I realized, well, Chet, this, uh, this thing was unpaused when it was supposed to be paused and I didn't get half of my video. So I had to go kind of put something together. And so instead of 10 minutes editing that video, um, several hours deep and I just don't feel like editing right now. I have not felt like editing for several days now. Large part of it is because everything's so out of order and I'm trying to upload everything in order of the date it was taken and unfortunately I'm kind of at the point you guys you're just going to get the videos when you get them even if they're not in chronological order because I just need to get caught up on footage and then I can work harder at keeping everything in order. I'm just going to have to take less footage for the channel. And uh, keep my footage of my customer saws um, on a separate camera or something. Um, that way I have documentation, but I don't have to upload every single one. Okay, there we are. Got that in. Get this out of our way, hopefully. Okay, slide that in a little more. And we're just going to put two cylinder bolts in for now. We'll do this corner and then the other corner. Sorry about my head being in the way, neighbors. Okay. We just have to do two corners to check our squish. Okay, it is threading. I couldn't tell. Great, so we'll just snug that. And we'll do this one and snug it up. Okay, and then we'll take our soldering wire and check our squish. I really hope I can do a base gasket delete on this saw. It's already a fast cutting saw. I like this saw. I really do. And I cannot believe my cylinder's not bad. It's nice that one good thing happened, but of course I had to spend like uh sixty dollars or something on the piston um okay soldering wire i'm very tired you guys i really was gonna go to bed after i edited that video and uh yeah see like that's my life i was just about to say but that 
nothing ever works out in my life and everything has to be excessively difficult. And that is fact. You guys see it. You don't even see a fraction of all the shit that goes wrong in my life all day long every day. Because I don't show most of it to you. Because then I'd have to record 24 hours a day. You guys miss a lot, trust me. Okay, I did forget to order a new spark plug for this, however, so... Hopefully our spark plug is reasonably new. Okay, here's our calipers. I'm just going to... I need to grab the flywheel. When my saws are in big bins like this one is, it seems like I'm missing stuff because there's so much extra space in the bin. Normally, the bins I put them in, you have to fit them in there like a puzzle piece. Okay, I want to get that nut out of the way there. First, I'm going to spin this and make sure we're not hitting our... We are, we're hitting our combustion chamber. So I can already tell you there's no chance of a base gasket delete on this. That sucks. No base gasket delete. I could change it from a metal gasket to a, a paper gasket, however. And that would decrease by like 15 thou. We could see if that might work. Damn, I didn't even tighten this up that much. But that's my life. Snug a bolt up and I have to give myself a migraine. Straining my neck and shoulders to get it out. This is my very first 400C, you guys. I've never built one before. So if we lift our piston just a little bit. Whoops. Get our flywheel back on here. Lift our cylinder just a little bit. I meant about where it would be with the base gasket. That really sucks. I can't believe. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's down all the way. Yeah, I felt it hit. Yeah, that's hitting. That sucks. Damn. I hate when I can't do base gasket deletes. Now I can't get our damn freaking cylinder off. Oh, my bolt's not out all the way. Go figure. Even with all that turning. Okay. I don't think... It, what the hell? Okay, this is silly. We're hitting the pin from the brake. That brake pin uh, was in the way. Let me see if we can get that tapped out of the way a little bit. Oh, it must be where it's supposed to be. I wouldn't think it should stick out like that. Okay, the thing is, I don't know. I think that's the base gasket on my bench, but I don't know. What I do know is I don't have a new base gasket for this. And I don't, I'm not a fan of reusing gaskets of any type. Just like spark plugs. I don't like uninstalling and reinstalling spark plugs. I'm just not a fan of it. Yeah, this is like a 30 thou or 40 thou base gasket. These are. Uh, this doesn't look like the correct Amundo one. Do I have to take my piston off like the 441s? Looks like I do. Damn, that sucks, you guys. This is my life, though. Welcome to it. Um, it's funny because I just kind of want to put this all together without doing footage, but I mean, when will I have a 400C again? It could be a long time, could be never. Of course, my uh, thing is bent the wrong way. Why wouldn't it be, right, neighbors? Tis my life. Welcome to it. Share my turmoil and pain and struggle with you guys so you can laugh at me. Some of you relate, some of you uh, are not so nice and say bad things like that I'm a pansy and pity party much and blah 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 whatever I don't give a chip <sighs> come on there we are don't get to use the drift to push this piston out though so but it should go pretty easily. Let's grab a tool here. It is a thin walled wrist pin actually. Barely any meat to push on. I don't want to stab myself. Ow, like that. How do I know that was gonna happen? Called it. Damn. 
lot easier than that. Wow. Fucking cunt nugget. Unreal, you guys. Just, just can't ever have anything go simple. Look at that shit. Look how tight that's coming out. That's ridiculous. Okay, so... Let's verify this is our base gasket. I don't honestly know... Uh... That is not... What the fuck did that come off of? I might not have a base gasket, you guys. Oh, look. The fucking base gasket's on there. So why is my piston hitting? Uh, damn it, Bobby. What the hell's going on here? Did you get me the wrong damn piston? 1140-030-2014. 50 mil. Why, why did we hit our combustion chamber? Oh, you know what? What the hell is that? There was a little uh, piece of metal there. Where'd it go? Are you chitting me, man? You guys, this is crazy. Here it is. Probably a piece of our piston there. Stuck up at the top of our combustion chamber. Surely that must be a chunk of our piston. I wish I had my abrasion... Um, no, that was just a hard piece of carbon. Are you chitting me? Why are we hitting, man? There's there's a little bit of carbon buildup, but not enough to... I wouldn't think. And I can't quite... It's always I can't quite reach it. I don't have a... You know what? I have a 120 grit Dremel sanding pad. Uh, or sanding disc that's flexible. I can try and clean that combustion chamber up with. So let's do that. Okay, isn't that interesting, neighbors? 77 thou is what we had. Okay, I cleaned all that carbon up. And we now have 77 thou. And I believe these metal base gaskets are about 30 thou. So I'm going to measure our base gasket uh, at 77 thou now. Hopefully I, I had that in the right spot. But I need to clean our piston and cylinder up. I think there's some dust and stuff on it. I, I'm at a brake parts cleaner. So I came over here with the intent to spray my cylinder out with car parts cleaner and I didn't because I got distracted um having to be really careful that Dremel makes me really nervous putting that Dremel down in the cylinder because I have shaky hands and that's why uh, a lot of people say I'm dumb for the fact that I'm gonna try my porting for the first time on an 044 but I have an extra cylinder so I don't see why not go big or go home right Okay, yeah, see, look how dirty that is. Uh, definitely glad I, I only spun that a couple times. So I just want to clean everything up here real quick. I'm going to clean this all up, you guys, and then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to move, measure the base gasket and remove it and check squish again. But videos are getting way too long, so I'm going to pause you for all that. Okay, got everything cleaned up. I took my rings off to clean them because I just don't want to take any chances. Uh, and now we're going to check for squish again. We are able to turn our piston all the way, okay? Our motor all the way without it touching. So obviously we had that chunk of carbon definitely was an issue. Just that one chunk of carbon. As tight as this is going, the uh, it doesn't feel like we'll be able to do our base gasket delete, but I don't know. Um, we got it pretty good. It squished it pretty good, but I think it was in a bad spot. So I definitely am going to check another spot besides this one. Or uh, try uh, just uh, resituating it anyways. Okay, let's see where we're at. Yeah, so now we're at 55 thou. Let's go one more time just to be sure. Make sure we're kind of in the right spot here. <clears throat> yeah, 
uh, 56 thou. So that's a that's a pretty big squish with a base gasket delete. It's like the 044s, man. Their squish with a base gasket delete is like 85 thou. You know what? That's freaking millimeter. That's I'm doing myself dirty. I need to do inches. Damn it. Doing myself seriously dirty. Uh, we're right there. 0 0.022. I'll take it. That's perfect squish. It's probably what I did wrong on the 044. I had my damn thing on millimeters instead of inches. Because I was like, wait, no. The damn 044 can't have a combustion chamber of freaking 85 thou with a base gasket delete. There's no way. So we are going to do a base gasket delete on this saw. Okay. Uh, so... I'm going to go ahead and get our piston installed, neighbors, and get our gasket on and everything else, and then we'll pick it back up. Okay. Okay. Had a guy message me on Facebook about my 562 XP. He says, I need this saw. What's your bottom dollar? Well, neighbor, it was listed at 850 and I dropped it to 750 So I suppose my bottom dollar is $725 if you pay cash. If you pay with a card or PayPal goods and services, I have to pay 4%. And so you have to pay 4%. Okay, I suppose next, uh, again, I don't know this all super well, but uh, I suppose we should go ahead and get our tank on. Oh, you guys, I didn't even notice. I keep finding broken fucking shit on this saw. This was not broken before. The fucking crankcase is broken. This saw is no good. This saw is no fucking good. This is my life. You see, you guys, I've got hours and hours and hours into this saw. And, and that must have broke in travel somewhere or uh, probably sabotage. So that's the end of this video. Members only. Love you guys. Tis my life.